before we start the video. If you want to become a Lyft driver, make sure you click at the link in the description below. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. This is Chris. Dylan asked me to fill in for today, so here I am. On my journey as a rideshare driver, you know, it's great for the flexibility, it's great for the pay, it's great to meet new people and network and, and do a lot of uh, amazing things. It's great for building my businesses uh, as I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, it's just so many cool things about rideshare. But today, I really want to talk to you about one of the main reasons why I do rideshare. But first, I really want to give you guys a cool perspective on something that is kind of overlooked uh, when it comes to rideshare and some of the really cool things about it. First, the ability for the elderly to use rideshare is one of the coolest things about it. And like I say, it's mostly overlooked by people who aren't rideshare drivers. So I just want to give you that perspective because it is pretty cool. So when you get older and you have to give up your license or rely on family and friends uh, to get to places like your doctor's appointments, like uh, grocery store, uh, friends, houses, family, uh, pretty much anywhere, uh, it can be a burden for that person because they, they don't want to feel like they are a burden to another person like their friends and family. Uh, it's also can, can be difficult because... Uh, you know, timing is everything. So if, if a family member is busy with doing something, you know, you got to go down the line, and try to find somebody to get to that appointment or to get to that place. And it's really cool because uh, rideshare drivers can pick up these people to and from their locations and really work with them so that that elderly person can keep part of their independence. And it's really nice uh, and it, like I say, that's something that's that's quite overlooked. Uh, and I do enjoy that fact of rideshare. On to one of my great and uh, big reasons why I do rideshare and why I am a driver is, uh, first, I do most of my driving at night. And there is a reason for that. Uh, yes, there's less traffic. Uh, yes, there's less uh, waiting around. Uh, there's more just kind of drive and go, which is fun. And, you know, you get to talk to a lot of, a lot of fun people because that's when more people are out and about going down to downtown to have, go out drinking or have parties or whatever. Uh, but actually one of the best things about rideshare is what happens after everybody is done for the night and they're going home. Uh, so mine is knowing that people are going to go home and they're going to be safe. Uh, especially the fact that they're not going to be drinking and driving, that they're not going to be uh, uh, any issues on the road, that they're going to make it home safe, and they're doing a smart thing by getting a ride share. And I'm really happy that many people actually have taken that and thought to themselves and said, you know what, I am going to use ride share versus going out and driving. And it's really cool because the roads are safer. The roads are going to be better. You don't have to worry. Uh, there's a lot less uh, drinking and driving uh, and DWIs and that that are out there, which is a phenomenal thing. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Also, one of my goals is to try to help stop drinking and driving. And this is one of the ways that you can because you get to educate the people, you get to talk with people, uh, you know that they're making the right decisions and they're going to tell their friends. And it's just a really great way of doing it. And so that's one of the main reasons why I drive uh, is knowing that I get to make sure that people get home safe and that they're not drinking and driving. So that's a great thing. I'm very happy about that. And I just want to shift one last gear. So as my journey of a rideshare driver has happened for the last three years, uh, I also started my own YouTube channel called Real Rideshare Stories. So I hope you guys come over and check that out as well. And make sure to subscribe if you aren't already to the Rideshare Hub. Thank you, Dylan, very much for letting me host today's episode. And we'll see you guys next time.